using latitude and longitude. In order to use latitude and longitude, you must first understand that the world is broken up into four different hemispheres. The first hemisphere we're going to look at is the western hemisphere. This is the area of the globe that is left of the prime meridian and delineated by lines of longitude. Often in maps, when you're looking at lines of longitude, you'll see a little W next to the numbers indicating you're in the western hemisphere. Same with the reciprocal. We have the eastern hemisphere that is on the right side of the prime meridian, and oftentimes on maps there will be a little E to classify this as the eastern hemisphere. Next, using lines of latitude, we separate the world into two more hemispheres. We have the northern hemisphere, which is above the equator or north of the equator, using lines of latitude, again having a little n next to your degrees, and the southern hemisphere, south of the equator, also having the little s by your degrees. Okay. Let's say your teacher gives you a group of coordinates that you need to find a place on the world map at 65 degrees north and 18 degrees west. The first place I always start is looking at my hemispheres. We're going to be in the northwest hemisphere. So I know that we're going to be above the equator and on the left side of the prime meridian. So before I even begin, I know my answer should end up in this area over here. So let's start with our north. The problem has 65 degrees north. So I'm going to start at my equator, and I'm going to move up until I get close to 65 degrees. Now this map delineates in uh, increments of 20, so we go 0, 20, 40, 60, and the 80. So I know I need to be between a 60 and 80, and since it's 65, it's just going to be a little bit above the 60. So I know I'm going to be in this range somewhere. Next, it wants me to find 18 degrees west. So I don't have any lines of longitude up here. I need to go to the bottom of my map. And the prime meridian is 0 degrees, and I know I need to go west. So I'm going to head this way, and I run right into 20. Now I know 18 is a little bit less than 20, so I'm going to take my line and follow it straight up. And now I'm to my 60 degree mark. I need to go a little bit above 60 degrees. So when I come in, I end up in this country right about here. Now, with the way this map is, it doesn't actually label um, any of the important markers on the map, the countries, the continents. So I'm going to use another resource that I have close by. You can use a map, a table map, a map from a book. Um, I happen to have an atlas nearby, and I know I'm still in the northwestern hemisphere, so I find a map of the northwestern hemisphere, and I know I need to identify this little island right here next to this larger area. So while looking at the map, I've identified the larger area as Greenland, and then right there, labeled, is the little island called Iceland. So I've discovered that 65 degrees north and 18 degrees west is Iceland. Now let's go backwards. Let's say your teacher gives you a point on a map and you need to identify the coordinates of that point. So we're going to identify um, the area of point C, the latitude and longitude. First, I know that we need to start with either the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere because we're using the first latitude. And I see the equators here and we're in the south. So I know already for my answer, the first part is going to be south. Then looking at my prime meridian, I know this area is the west, this area is the east, so I know again for my answer, I'm going to need to be in the east. So I'm going to go ahead and find my latitude. I'm at 0, 20, and it's a little bit below 20, and my next one is 40, so I'd say halfway between 20 and 40 is approximately 30 
is 30. But my dot is approximately halfway between the 20 and 30, making it 25 degrees south. So I know my latitude, now we need to find my longitude. On this map, my longitude is labeled at the bottom. I have 140 degrees and 160 degrees. And if I were to follow that dot down, kind of curving with the lines, I would let and immediately between the two and between 140 and 160, I know is 150 degrees. So that is how you find latitude and longitude. Always remember that before you start, when giving latitude and longitude, if you look at your hemispheres to give yourself a general direction where I should end up in the northwest hemisphere, or maybe you end up in the southeast hemisphere.